Hey, how do you do folks? Chris Haskell here. Just wanted to share with you a story that I had yesterday. I had a wonderful experience. Got all fired up by uh, the, uh, oh, what's his name? <laughs> can't remember the name of his account. Is uh, But he's the uh, metal detecting and gold finding guy, prospecting guy. His name's Gary. And uh, he got me all fired up. I think it was Two Toes is the name of his account. But he um, got me fired up looking for gold yesterday. Now now I'm in Tucson. And, uh, you know, it's not going to be real easy to find gold in the city unless you go out. But I'll tell you what, I went down just for the heck of it. He got me all fired up. So I got my metal detector. And I went uh, right down the road, which is right over here. There's a wash that goes underneath the mall. And... Uh, you know, I figured, hey, maybe gold floats down, and I'm sure it will occasionally, and it gets caught in places. So I go down there, and I look in this big old puddle yesterday, and amazingly enough, <laughs> oh, my God, I'll tell you what. There was a puddle there, and there was a coin sitting right at the bottom, and I, I you know, has a quarter or something. It was a brand new coin, whatever it was. And uh, so I just ignored it, and I looked around and found a bunch of trash, and and you know, I ended up, uh, I was getting ready to leave. My dog was having a great time because uh, she was just having a good time swimming in the water. And then the last thing I did is grab that coin. Well, let me share that coin with you. <laughs> I mean, it just blew me away. The coin is this coin. You're looking at it the way I found it yesterday. What the heck is that? Yeah, that's what I said. And it was shining like bright as can be with the sun on it and I'll tell you something this thing looking like a real coin here look at that and it's like brand new and actually it is it's a French gold piece <laughs> sure enough it really is it really is and it is from 1915 seriously 1915 are you seeing that look at that unbelievable here in Tucson and it's it rained yesterday so we literally had a bunch of wash water flowing down that that uh, that wash so this thing just was floating down the river I guess where in the heck did it come from? Who knows? It's got a little dent in it here, see? Let's show it to you. A little bend in it. But look at this. I was like, dang, it almost feels like gold. That's because it was. So I want to thank Gary for getting me fired up, fired up enough that it was almost impossible to find any gold where I was looking. But I was thinking I just had gold on the mind. And I'll be dang. You know, and I've been going to that wash all my life, so this is the only time I've ever found anything like this. Amazing. Amazing. So anyway, wanted to share that with you guys. You know, it might actually be a symbol. Because with all the stuff I'm going through right now, who knows? It might be that uh, it is a, how you say, uh, you know, something from God. I don't know. Leave your comments down below and tell me if you think it's... Because uh, I'm telling you, it was so obvious. It was sitting right in the middle of a puddle. And and there'd be people there in no time. There was two kids who went by us just a few minutes later playing on bicycles. So, anyway. Wow. What a trip. I, I have never found any gold coins. Let alone <laughs> where I found this one. Wow. This lady, when I was walking out, she goes, uh, <laughs> she goes, you find anything? I said, nah, just a gold coin. She goes, oh, right, yeah, yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Anyway, there we go, guys. I did go back and just, just to check the area, but, you know, hell, this, all the water that was flowing, there's, you know, what's the odds, even if there were more? So I looked around and see nothing else. Just right on top, right at the bottom of the puddle. 
Alrighty, you guys have a great day. Chris Haskell, out. Passes overhead and leaves a trail across the sky. For years, viewers have been telling me it's a cover-up. Chief meteorologist Chuck George investigates the scientific facts behind the Contrail controversy. Tonight, live at 10.